I have had many customers come in, bring me a project that they tried to fix. And it is ugly. Let's talk about cleaning your metal before you weld. Most people don't even think of this. They think they can crank up the amperage and just burn right through the nastiness. Maybe you can, but usually it's not a good idea, especially on aluminum. If you notice, we use many different tricks to clean the material. We either used chemical, using acetone, because it will clean the material without leaving any residue. We use the angle grinder, although not recommended. Sometimes you just gotta have the extra horsepower. Really, the recommended way is the old-fashioned way. The toothbrush. Sometimes you gotta use the big one, but this one is your friend on aluminum. They will clean the material without embedding it with dirt and oxidation that's on the top. The other trick that we use is the welder itself. I talked a little bit about it, explaining what we were do doing, but the AC balance when cleaning aluminum is a little trick that I had heard from someone. It electrically cleans the material by the pulsing of the alternating current. And on the miller that we are using, normally I weld at around between 70 to 80 percent AC balance. But for cleaning action, you can turn it down as low as 50 percent, but that leaves a lot of heat in the gun itself. So usually I run at about 60 percent. Your welder may be different if you have a welder like this. Some of them go from 0 to 50. This one comes down from 99 to 50. But closer to 50 percent will give you the best cleaning action, although it won't weld the greatest. So we start off at 60%, do the cleaning, wire brush it, and then go back up to 75, 80%, whatever seems to work for the, the material. On um, this project, we turned it back up to 75% to weld. That is what I've found to clean very dirty and oxidized aluminum that seems to work the best. So until next time, clean your metal and let's see what we can get ourselves into for the next video.